Kelsey. Well, new at 11, two Alexandria neighborhoods are on high alert following two armed robberies that happened in broad daylight. And in one of the robberies, a victim was sexually assaulted. The first attack happened Monday morning at the intersection of East Howell and Leslie Avenues. The second occurred at 10 a.m. on East Myrtle near Braddock. Our Rouse Plater is live in the Rosemont neighborhood of Alexandria, where she spoke with one of the victims of the attacks. Roz. Rebecca, those two brazen crimes happened in two different neighborhoods of Alexandria, only about a mile apart. Now, police say they're probably not connected, but tonight both neighborhoods are on edge. 10 o'clock Thursday morning in the Rosemont area near the intersection of East Myrtle and Braddock Road. Neighbors say a nanny had just dropped off a child when a man wearing a reflective vest under a jacket knocked on her passenger side window. Two witnesses have asked us to shield their identity. She rolled down the window because he was wearing an orange, you know, the safety guard kind of, you know, the right. jacket. So he, she thought that he was a, you know, parking patrol. But police say he pulled out a gun, demanded money, and moved around to the driver's side of the vehicle, ordered the woman out of the car, and grabbed her. And the man kept on looking back and forth, making sure no one was looking. Then investigators say holding on to the victim, he walked her down the street, then groped her. He told her, you know, don't call any police, then he's going to kill her. Three days earlier in Del Rey, near the intersection of Leslie and East Howell, police say a woman and her fiance were robbed at gunpoint as they got into their car about 8 in the morning. Off camera, that victim tells us she still has nightmares about it. I definitely hope that they find the person immediately so this person can be put to justice and no one else has to fear for their lives. Now here's why investigators believe the two crimes are not related. In that first instance, we're told that the suspect was rather light skinned with lots of freckles on his face and described as being very skinny. In that second case, it was a dark skinned man, more than six feet tall and heavy set. Uh, of course, he was wearing that uh, reflective vest. Police are asking anybody with information to call the Alexandria Police Department. We're live in Alexandria. I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Roz. Happening now, a man accused of breaking into at least eight homes in Northwest is now in custody. Police arrested Jonathan Robinson from Southeast this afternoon. He's accused in a string of bold break-ins that happened while the homeowners were asleep. Former Neighborhood Commissioner Robert Branham was one of the victims. It is not a comfortable feeling to, to, uh, to have to go through to know that someone's been rifling through your home. And detectives believe more homes may have been targeted if you were victimized your urge to contact Metropolitan Police.